What's up guys, so in this video today I'm going to be talking with you about what I think is one of the most important things about trap shooting and that's understanding how to be visually disciplined, understanding how to lock onto a clay target. So today I'm going to be using this football instead of a clay target because I think it's a little bit better illustration than me actually getting a clay target and using it because it's bigger. I think it's a little bit easier to visualize everything with this. So. This football is illustrating the clay target coming out of the machine like this. So whereas you normally see a football coming out like this, um, it's actually going to be coming out like this at a sideways angle. So let's say for example that I get a straightaway. Where do I want my eyes to be at on the clay target? Well for me, I want it to be right in the middle of the ball. So right here, so if the target is going this way away from you guys, I want it to be right here on this black little air insert. Just right there in the middle of the clay target to where I can just come up and boom. Now the other reason that you have your eyes here, this is something I put a lot of thought into, is really understanding how you can see the target well. So on a clay target, usually you're going to have a black ring and then you're going to have orange on top. And obviously there are different variations of clay targets, but that's a pretty normal target there. And so for me, one thing that I've really thought about is what part of that target do I really see the best whenever it's dark and cloudy? So I want to pick somewhere that I can look on that target that I'm going to be able to see it well whenever it's dark and cloudy or whenever it's bright and sunny. I want to give myself the best chance to see that target. And for me, I see the target the best right above where that black ring is. So there's almost right where the black and orange meet. So let's say your black ring comes up to about right here, just a little bit below. That's where that orange is going to start. To me, that is the easiest part of the clay target to see, right just above that black ring where that orange starts. Now, some of you will have, find it a little bit easier to look at the black ring. Some of you will find it a little bit easier to just look a little bit higher on the orange. That's perfectly all right. But for me, I find it best to look right in the middle, right where that orange is just above the black ring. Now this is going to be dependent upon your point of impact some too. So if you're somebody that shoots a really low point of impact, you might want to shoot a little bit higher, look a little bit higher on that target. If you're somebody that shoots a higher point of impact, you might want to look a bit lower. For reference, I shoot right around a 90-10 to 100% high point of impact for traps. So keep that in mind whenever I'm going through this video. Now let's say for example I get a hard right. So this, this target's going this way. I want to look right in the middle still, but I'm going to look right here on this right leading edge. So that's going to allow me to get in front of the target, as long as I'm patient and let my gun barrel catch up. It's going to allow me to get in front of the target, and it's also going to allow me to still keep my gun in the middle of that target. So I'm going to be really shooting somewhere out more right in here on that leading edge. And one thing that's interesting to keep in mind here, just a quick little tip, if you have a hard windy day. So let's say for example that hard right's going a little bit faster because you have that crosswind coming and pushing. You might look a little bit out more in front of the target, especially if you're shooting long yard handicaps to help you get ahead of that target. So if you're noticing yourself you're constantly chipping the back end off of that target, try looking a little bit more out into the front of it to help you overcompensate for that wind or whatever it is that might be causing you to get behind that target. Now let's say I get a quarter right. So if this is a straightaway, this is a full, just a hard right, the quarter right is going to be somewhere right in here. So for me, I'm going to still look in the middle. This is the common theme. I'm always looking in the middle of the target. And I'm going to be looking right here, just kind of just a quarter of the way over. So I'm not all the way over to the right. I'm not in the middle. I'm right there in between the two, between the middle and the leading right edge. That's where I'm looking. Now the reason for this is, is that I want to turn that target into an ink dot every time. I want it to be a smoke bomb. This is what I found for me personally helps out for me the best is look at those visual angles. Now like I said, you may take these and you may adjust and you may play around with them a little bit depending on your own strengths and depending on what point of impact you shoot. But I think you can take these as general guidelines and adjust them a little bit to fit your own game. Now obviously we still have the left side. so. If I get a hard left, it's the same thing as a hard right basically except for a reverse. I'm still going to be looking on the leading edge, only it's going to be the left leading edge this time. I'm still going to be looking in the middle. So get that hard left, I'm going to be looking right there on the left, and I'm going to be right in the middle. So I'm going to be right about there is where I'm going to be looking. Same thing for a quarter right, I'm going to be right in between the two. So I'm going to be right in between the middle of the target and the left edge of the target, and I'm going to look right here in the middle. Now where this varies sometimes. 
on the middle part. So I told you all throughout, you know, you're looking at the different edges of the target, if you will, for depending on what target you get. But I've always told you to look in the middle of the target. What if it's a windy day? That's where you compensate. This is how you break consistent scores even on windy days. But you have to be careful with this, guys. So if you're having a consistent north wind, meaning it's not really gusty, but it's consistent, that means you can raise your eye level a little bit above the middle of the target to help you compensate for that. Now this is why I'm saying you have to be careful. If it's a north wind and it's always going up a little bit higher than usual, that's all right to look a little bit above the middle. But what if that wind is kind of gusty and then it goes up and it drops? Well, you've shot yourself in the foot by making that wrong adjustment. I don't adjust very often on this. I pretty well always look in the middle of the target. It's going to have to be a very, very difficult win for me to change that. And it's going to have to be a very consistent wind if I'm going to change that. So if I'm out there and I notice that it's a very hard north wind, I'm going to look a bit higher. If I notice it's a very hard south wind, I'm going to look a bit lower. That's the adjustment that you have that allows you to, to understand this and to make that adjustment once you understand the wind. And once you start seeing this and you start really getting disciplined with your eyes on not only seeing the target, so you know anybody can see the target whenever it just comes out, but focusing on a specific spot on the target dependent on the instance. So one thing that you can do to practice this, um, you know, it's all about practicality, going out there trying to make this a good habit. Go out there when you're shooting, and maybe you're shooting a tournament this weekend, all right? Let's say you're shooting a tournament the next weekend, and you're going to be watching people before you shoot. So if they get a straightaway, look where you need to be looking. If they get a quarter left, look where you need to be looking. If they get a quarter hard left, then look at that front left middle leading edge. Practice this watching other people shoot, whether if they're on a line with you or you're watching them shoot before you, go ahead and practice that and also do it when you're shooting. Try it out, see if it helps you. But like I said, don't take this as a hard and fast rule. This is what works for me on my point of impact is looking at these right in the middle and on the appropriate edge depending on the situation. Go ahead and take that and adjust it a little bit for you. So I think you're going to find the edges to be pretty good that you're going to want to look on the right edge if it's going right on the left edge if you're going left. But you may adjust this middle a little bit depending on your point of impact and your personal experience level. And maybe you shoot a little bit faster, a little bit slower. Maybe that dictates it as well. I think you can start here though and I think you can adjust as you need to adjust to help you break more consistent scores. Thank you for watching today. I appreciate it. I think if you'll take these things that we talked about and you apply them through your shooting to become more visually disciplined, I think that you're going to see your scores go up because visually is such an important part of the aspect of trap shooting. I mean, it is just really important, fundamental to success in this game. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. You can subscribe to my channel here. You can check out a couple more videos here. We'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed day.